Listen to order of operation. In this tutorial, we'll know how to evaluate the expression using order of operation. The key concept of the lesson. What is the meaning of the order of operation? Order of operation is mean if we have any question contained than more than operation, which operation will be at the first? Number one, we need to evaluate the expression which inside the grouping symbol. It's mean solve the bracket at the first. After that, we need to find the power. After solving the power, if if the expression contain multiply or divide, so we start solving from left to right. After solving the multiplication and division, we solve adding and subtracting. Question number one, evaluate each expression. As we said before, to solve the order of operation, we need to start with the brackets, then the power, multiply or divide, plus or minus. For the question that we have, we have 16 minus 8 divided by 2 to the power 2 plus 14. There is no bracket, but we have a power. So underline the operation that you will solve. Start writing, so it will be 16 minus 8 divided by... Now we have 2 raised to the power 2, which is 4, plus 14. Then now we start solving, there is no brackets and there is no powers. Then we need to find multiplication or division. We have division, so underline the operation, which is 8 divided by 4. So the question now will be 16 minus 8 divided by 4, which is 2, plus 14. So the answer now will be 16 minus 2, which is 14, plus 14. So the answer is 28. Number 2. 3 plus 42 times 2 minus 5. As we said, we need to find the brackets, then the power multiply or divide plus or minus so there is no bracket and there is no power so we are looking now for the times or divide there is a multiplication sign for the first one so we can say that will be 3 plus 42 times 2 which is 84 minus 5 now for this question we have plus and minus so we start from left to right so it will be 3 plus 84 which is 87 minus 5 87 minus 5 which equals to 82 number 3 20 minus 7 plus 8 to the power 2 minus 7 times 11 we start from the bracket then the power times or divide plus or minus there is no bracket but we have a power so underline the first operation which is 8 to the power 2 so 20 minus 7 plus 8 power 2 which equal to 64 minus 7 times 11 there is no bracket there is no power but we have multiplication and division which is 7 times 11 so start writing 20 minus 7 plus 64 minus 7 times 11 which is 77 now we have minus plus and minus we start from left to right so it will be 20 minus 7 equals 13 plus 64 minus 77 after that we have 13 plus 64 so the answer now will be 77 minus 77 which equal to 0 number 4 4 divided by 2 plus 5 times 10 minus 6 as we said, we have brackets, power, times or divide, plus or minus. So we have a bracket here. So it would be 4 divided by 2 plus 5. 5 and the bracket is mean 5 times. 10 minus 6, which is 4. Then we have division, addition, and multiplication. After finding the brackets, there is no power, so we need to solve the time and divide. We'll start from division because we start from left to right. So it will be 4 divided by 2, which equals 2, plus 5 times 4. Then now we have addition and multiplication. Multiplication will be at the first, so it will be 2 plus 5 times 4, which equals to 20. 2 plus 20 equals 22. 6 times 32 minus 2 plus 3 raised to the power 2. We start from the bracket, power, 
times or divide plus or minus. So the first operation we have here a bracket. We have the bracket which contains 32 minus 2 plus 3 to the power 2. Inside the bracket we have an operation. So we start again solving the bracket. The bracket that we have inside which is 2 plus 3. So we start writing 6 times 32 minus 2 plus 3 which equals to 5 to the power 2. Now inside the bracket we have a power. So we keep the order of operation even inside the bracket. So 6 times 32 minus 5 to the power 2 which is 25. Then it will be 6 times 42 minus 25 which is 7. So the answer now will be 42. Number 7. 5 times 4 times 10 minus 8 plus 20. As we said we need to solve the brackets then the power times or divide plus or minus. We repeat it to memorize it. So number 1 we have a bracket. So it will be 5 times 4 10 minus 8 which equals to 2 plus 20. Then now we have 2 multiplication and 1 addition so we solve the first multiplication so it will be 20 times 2 plus 20. So we solve the multiplication so it will be 20 times 2 which equals to 40 plus. So the answer now will be equals to 60. With the last one. 15 minus 10 times 3 minus 2 to the power 2 plus 6. So we solve the operation which inside the bracket which is 3 minus 2. So it will be 15 minus 10 plus 3 minus 2 which equals to 1 to the power 2 plus 6. Now we have a power so the answer now will be 15 minus 10 plus 1 to the power 2 equals 1 plus 6. After that we have a bracket so it will be 15 minus 11 plus 6. So 15 minus 11 which equals to 4 plus 6. So the answer now will be equals to 10. Evaluate each expression. In this problem I will give you the value of the variable by using substitution then using the order of operation to find the value of the expression. So the first one we have 3x to the power 2 plus 2y plus z to the power 3. fx equals 4 and y equals 5 z equals 3. So by using substitution we have 3 times x which equals to 4 so it will be 4 to the power 2 plus open a bracket 2 times y which equals to 5 plus z which equals to 3 raised to the power 3 now we need to solve the operation at the first we have a bracket inside the bracket we have a power so it will be 3 times 4 to the power 2 plus 2 times 5 plus 27 then we need to solve the multiplication we can solve the power which outside the bracket so it will be 3 times 16 plus 10 plus 27 number 2 a power 2 times 3p plus 5 divided by c if a equals 2 b equals 6 c equals 4 by substitution we have that a equals 2 so it will be 2 to the power 2 times 3 times b what is the value b b equals 6 plus 5 divided by c which equals to 4 solve the operation inside the bracket we have here 3 times 6 and we have power outside so we can solve it it will not affect the operation so it will be 3 times 6 which equals to 18 plus 5 divided by 4 now solve the operation inside the bracket so it will be 4 times 18 plus 5 which equals to 23 now we have 4 times 23 which equals to 92 divided by 4 so the answer now will be 23 5d plus 6f minus g if d equals 4 f equals 3 g equals 12 by substitution we can say that 5 times d which equals to 4 plus open a bracket 6 times f equal to 3 minus g which equals to 12 so it would be we have operation inside the bracket and outside the bracket 
the two operation will not affect each other so it, we can say that 5 times 4 equals 20 plus 6 times 3 equals 218 minus 12 now we can solve the addition so it will be 38 minus 12 in the next tutorial we will know the properties of the number